Hello everybody, it's the King back here with another video. And today, guys, we are back with a walkthrough of our Marvel Minecraft Universe world. Um, honestly, I've been doing a lot of, lot of work on this world um, over the past, like, I don't even know, maybe two, maybe close to three weeks now. I've been putting in a stupid amount of hours. Now, here's the thing. I was already proud of this world beforehand, but I'm even more so proud of it now. Um, I know I tend to make these intros a little long, so I'm going to try to shorten that, but I'm going to give a quick recap of what this series and more specifically of what this world is. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, basically this world right here is our recreation of the Marvel universe in Minecraft. And since the Minecraft, uh, sorry, and, and since the Marvel universe is based on real life earth, um, it's basically our recreation of Earth in its entirety in Minecraft. Now, will I be able to recreate all of Earth uh, before I die <laughs> of old age? Probably not. But at the very least, I'm hoping to get all of New York done. Uh, it will be a very challenging task, but uh, I I'm honestly having fun with it. And I hope you guys will have fun joining me in this uh, thing. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the last time we, we showed off this world, we didn't really have much done, okay? And uh, we, we had this uh, building done right here, the uh, Cafe Central, I'm pretty sure it's called. And, I mean, lo look at this, right? It It's pretty accurate to the um, real-life version. It's maybe, I want to say, anywhere between 80 to 90%. The only places that it starts to get a little inaccurate is the bar area. And then I, I, I want to say the kitchen, but honestly, looking at it right now, even just from like a fresh view, I'm really, really proud of how this shit came together. It looks so good, right? And this looks so nice, dude. Um, sorry, as you guys can see, this is uh, it, this is all a work in progress. I should mention it's all being uh built. So you guys might find random blocks and stuff like that over there that I use to be able to like pick it up real quick and uh, replace it down. Um, just just try to ignore those. I did try to clean up the world a little bit before uh, starting this video because I want to just show you guys the progress that I have. Now I'm gonna be posting um screenshots of what the real life comparison of the builds I have currently done uh, are right now. So let's start with the Met Life building. Uh, here this is what I've got in Minecraft. This is what the real life version looks like. And then you have this little thing here, which again, I, I believe this is called Cafe Central, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, or or this might be an A plus 45. Um, that might be ca uh, like Cafe Central, and this might be an A plus 45, or it's the other way around, and this is Cafe Central, and this is not uh, an, a an A plus 45 or some shit like that. Uh, either way, uh, both buildings are here. Now, these buildings don't actually exist in current day MetLife. They closed down after the coronavirus kind of struck. But um, I really enjoy basically pre-corona the way like uh, it's gold instead of black and shit like that. So that's the version of the MetLife building we're building. Um, all of the architecture is mostly the same uh, uh, except those highway segments. So we've decided to just go with the gold section because I think it looks more dynamic and it looks better. So this is what we've got here. Again, uh, I can't remember if this is... Actually, I can probably check real quick. Uh, let me let me see here. It is... Um, actually, one second. I'm going to check real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I got the confirmation I needed. So this is Naples 45 and this is Cafe Centro. Um, so yeah, so we have uh, Naples 45 already built. This is what I have uh, for my Minecraft version of the patio. This is what the patio looks like in real life. And then, um, I've done already an in-depth review of this building. Um, I'm gonna put a link to that video down below. Although, honestly, the video is kind of old and, um, it, it might not be the best. I might do a retour of this video in a little bit more polished and updated version. Especially because I have done a couple minor changes. I can't remember if, like, for example, these little, little wallpaper segments were already here or not. And, um, I've moved the chairs and stuff from perfectly connected to the wall one over because these are chiseling bits and unfortunately i can't do that um but i might actually try to recreate these chairs and tables with chiseling bits in order to have them re like stuck to the walls because the issue is that for example i can put this here but i can't put this here because this is actually a chiseling bit segment so this counts as a full block even though it's only like a one thing so i can't put the chair there i like the way it looks when it's stuck to the wall but it would kind of interrupt with the um 
as you can see, it will kind of interrupt with the wallpaper, but there is enough space where I feel like I can still put tables and chairs and it wouldn't be exactly glued. So I, I might just try to recreate these later on. Regardless, I might do a revamped uh, tour of this building in the future. Let me know if you guys are interested in that, but this is basically what I've got. I'm not going to show any real life examples of what this build usually looks like because I already have an entire video dedicated to that. And then we have over here um a much back when we did the um the review of Naples 45 this was just scraps it wasn't even like um a foundation or anything like we've got now this is the hemsley building and i'm honestly really really proud of how it's coming along we finally got this bread uh sorry this bridge here connected over um the road looks kind of funky i'm not oh again i, I have some random cars and shit because i have to test like lengths to make sure the roads are actually wide enough and shit i'm kind of disappointed by how this looks kind of funky the um the curve and shit you know what i mean it looks very weird but i mean it does make it so that there's always an equal amount of length in both segments and it does i mean there is a curve you guys can actually see a curve it's not the most perfect curve and and it does I absolutely constantly trigger my OCD. The issue is that even if I if, if even if I get a perfect curve here, what that means is that this segment will be too small and this one will be too wide, which is why it looks so odd. I had to basically uh do a compromise where the curve isn't going to look perfect and it is going to look a little wonky, but at the very least it's going to mean both sides are equal um in length up until you get to this portion which looks really nice um so we we have this version here uh this is what the hold on let me, let me let me move back a little bit so this is what the bridge looks like in real life this is our version here and again for the for the hemsley building same thing i mean i'm honestly really really proud of how this is coming along um and then we we have this little um under section here this thing is not like complete at all uh this is all very bare bones and not much has changed from the last time you guys have seen this segment of the build but uh because I, I i'm i'm more so interested right now in putting down the um the blueprints and shit or like the foundations for how everything looks which you guys are gonna see i've done massive bro uh, progress over on that side you guys can actually see a, a bit of a building peeking over uh, I've done a bunch of progress over there. The issue with this, with doing such a massive build, especially trying to recreate something that already exists in real life, the issue with that is basically, um, how, how do I put this? Basically, like, every building is in a way connected to every other building so like you have to take into account oh this building stops here this street continues here like with the area where this window is that's where like the other street continues and so you everything basically has to be very planned and very methodical so unfortunately i can't just sit down and build the metlife building right because if i do that and then i start building because and this is what i've learned over years of trying to do this build um and then constantly like getting bored and like scrapping it or getting frustrated and sc scrapping it this is the most progress i've ever done and I i'm very very uh glad of how it's come along but um what i've learned over the years of sort of trying to recreate a new york city in minecraft is that you can't just build one building and then go and, and build the next one later because for example even this bridge it all has to link up everything has to be exactly proportional to each other right so for instance the hemsley building it has to be the exact length of the medlife building right so i if this is like even just like 10 or 20 blocks smaller not only is the bridge gonna look very exaggerated when it connects over but at the same time it won't make much sense because in the real life version of the build the the hemsley building and the um the metlife building as you guys can see it actually ends at the exact same segment as this does or at the very least very close to the exact same segment obviously this one's a little more uh, a couple more blocks over but as you can see the street basically is the same thing right so so all this has to be like proportional to each other so i can't just build one build and then go on to build to the next one i have to build four or five things all at once to try to make it sort of um make sure they're, they all line up with the real life variants as you guys will see once we get over to that side of the build but um not much has really changed over here this is all still the same from the last time actually so this is what it looks like here in minecraft this is what the real life version looks like um i, I might do some revamp search and shit because this is honestly a pretty old version of what i had and i've become a lot more adept at using chiseling bits but again i, I think this is a, f a fairly close uh, representation 
of the um of what this looks like now this area over here is going to get a complete revamp okay um this area is uh, i'm going to revamp this entire area i i don't like the way that this doesn't actually have a um a bar because the issue is that the window as you guys can see like like this is what it's meant to look like and i can't do that because the roof is too low so i i'm going to do some revamps over on this section of the build here and um Especially because, yeah, looking at it now, I can definitely do some revamps. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably do a bunch of revamps here in this section of the build to kind of get it looking a little nicer. The, the foundations aren't gonna change, so like the number of windows, where they actually are, and shit like that. But probably like where the actual roof comes in and shit has, is gonna change. I've been thinking about it over the past couple days, and I want to redo this a little bit because although it doesn't look bad by having these little chisel and bit segments over here to um kind of cover the windows to make it look like there's a, bit, a little bit of a lens or like a little bit of um a, a disconnect between just like the windows and the walls it doesn't look good all yellow or whatever you know what i mean i i would much like it i would much rather it just be normal glass and like have the normal glass borders because i think that looks a little better so I, I, i'm gonna experiment and see what i, I can do but um this sort of disappointment aside we we have this portion which wasn't here in the last uh time this is like i said everything you guys are seeing is a work in progress this specifically is a huge work in progress this is just here as a placeholder i have not yet decided what block i'm going to be using to um build this portion which if you guys don't know this is a uh, grand central station so this is where the metlife building ends this is the parking garage and then this is grand central station i still have not decided which block i'm going to use to represent grand central station this is just here as a placeholder but this is what it looks like in minecraft and this is what it looks like in real life again really proud of that i'm so I, I can't explain how much i'm proud of how great this build looks now you you have the interior of the metlife building which actually i haven't shown off so i might as well do that here i actually forgot about showing off the um the lobby of the metlife building so i might as well do that so this is what i have for the lobby and this is what the real life lobby looks like I mean, honestly, like, like even with the escalators and shit, I, I've, I, yo, I've been in a lot of work to try and get this as close as possible to the real life version, and I'm so glad. Sorry, there's a little bit of lag. Unfortunately, there's so many chunks here that, like, if I move around too fast, because if I stay in one area of the map too long, it unloads the rest of the area. I'm gonna pause and I'll see you guys once the lag is done. I'm so sorry about this. All right, sorry about that, guys. We are back. Uh, ironically enough, I've literally been playing. Uh, this world non-stop I want to say like over eight hours every single day for like the last like two weeks or like three weeks or something and we have not crashed once all of a sudden you know what I'm gonna stop the music sorry I don't know that why that was I'll, I'll probably just edit in some background music or something in like uh editing but honestly we, we have not crashed once the entire time i've been playing this world and now of course when i try to make a video on it it crashes randomly for no reason i can't even tell what the crash was from uh i have no idea i guess it's just my youtube luck but anyway this is the um the lobby area and then uh this is still the highway obviously this won't be visible <laughs> you know what i mean obviously this will be um a cordon off and shit but if you come here and then you go over in this direction. This is basically uh, Cafe Centro. This is basically going to be the interior of Cafe Centro. Uh, let's actually take it out from the outside because it's uh, probably a lot cleaner. Actually, yeah. So, the, so this is the um, entrance to the lobby because both the... Um, uh, what, what's it called? So the MetLife lobby has two doors leading to Na Naples 45 and then Cafe Centro. This is what the Naples 45 one looks like. Uh, and then this is what a, the real life version of it looks like. I try, uh, again, I'm trying to go for real uh, for like uh, as close to like the real life counterparts as possible. I haven't done Cafe Centro yet, so I'm just leaving it a, a, a placeholder. You know what I mean? I don't have anything done for this build yet. As I said, right now, I'm more so focused on just getting the foundations in than actual interiors and shit. I'm going to be doing interiors later on. I just want to get, like, all the um, foundations done. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like from the outside. Let me just go back a little bit. Um, I, I, you know what? I'm not... I, no, you know what? I, I will. I will. I will show a, a real-life version of this. I wasn't going to because, like, honestly, I don't have this yet. Uh, like, I don't even have the patio version done or, in, or like, any of the interior. So it kind of just looks so wonky. But you know what? I might as well. And then uh, you have the bridge from the Hemsley building. This is what the real-life version looks like. And then this is basically what I've got. 
uh, I actually like it looks fine from like a distance but when you actually come in here i feel like this is too short i mean it's three blocks wide but it just feels so cramped in here which is really annoying because the only way i can get it to have this thickness is by having it this like you know what i mean uh having it this many blocks which is four blocks any less and it looks too skinny especially because it looks almost the exact same size as the regular bridge so it has to be this thick three blocks wide is still enough for me to put like chairs down and like the tables and shit like that um but man does it really feel cramped out i've gotten so used to working with like five and six high block uh buildings that like three wide is just god i mean sorry three high is just really really cramped anyway um that that's basically what this looks like and then i'm gonna just quickly float over here um this is basically what the real life version of this staircase looks like uh i am trying to get this as as close as possible this is still a work in progress i'm gonna clean this up a lot i actually um was just working on this like yesterday before i went to sleep so that's why this is uh looking a little funky but this is gonna be cleaned up but this is sort of like the um everything here is much more work in progress than even the, the shit over there because i just have got this done in the past couple days um so yeah just, just keep that in mind while you guys are uh see this for example even this weird like lump and shit um it, it looks way way too drastic i'm gonna have to change all this up but this is just here as a placeholder it's not gonna look this prominent or anything like that because right now it looks almost like there's a hill for it to, to go up here which is uh very odd but this is the um this is sort of the uh i don't i don't even know what you would call this i guess like the second side entrance that connects to this thing up here to to like this side entrance so i'll show that off in a second but um well this is what it looks like in real life and this is what lo looks like here in the minecraft version i'm honestly really proud of this it looks so clean again i it's not done yet i still have to put in doors and i still have to put in like like entrances and shit like that but I, I all of this is a super work in progress but this is just what i've got so far and then um you, you've got like the revolving doors and shit uh, i'm using windows to like show off the revolving doors i'm pretty sure i already talked about this in the first like review of cafe Cent or sorry of naples 45 but just in case you guys are new to this series i'm using windows to kind of show off um revolving doors because these you can walk through and it kind of gives the sense that you could like push this with your arm and it would like rotate you know what i mean so almost like a revolving door so i've got a revolving door oh, that's not what i meant to do uh it's like that right yeah, yeah, yeah okay cool um so i've got revolving doors and all the slots and then this area here is actually supposed to be sort of like a patio and so you have this sort of little walkway uh let's actually show off this area first so this is what we've got so far for like this little portion of the highway uh this is what it looks like in uh real life and this is what it looks like here honestly i'm really 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 proud of this i know i keep saying that but oh my god it's so nice to finally share my hard work you know what i mean because i've been like i've been like putting so many countless hours into this uh and i think it looks so great like 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 look at this real life version and then look at this and tell me it doesn't look so good dude it looks so nice god it looks so good so yeah we, we got this it keeps going here and then you have the the other like parking garage this is what the real life version looks like this is what our version looks like um of the parking garage and then it's basically going to be like a uh, grand central station here again but i haven't even gotten started on that part and then um the real <laughs> what's really taken up most of my time i know you guys have probably seen it a little bit but also ignore this i'm still trying to find a good color uh, that's why every single one of these looks different i'm still trying to find a good um block to use for these little um street things because this is what the real life version looks like it's different from the rest of the street and it's annoying and i'm trying to find a block that kind of looks good i think i'm just gonna go with this because this one looks kind of nice i think i'm just gonna go with this with this sort of a uh, double block palette but um regardless i don't even know what this building is go uh, is called i just know it exists and this building is very heavy in chisel and bits as you guys can see these entire windows are basically chisel and bits but and so are these like things here I i've gone very heavy with the chisel and bits for this design but um this is what the real life version looks like and this is what this version looks like other uh, i i even have like the potted plants and shit and all of these are gonna like have plants in them and stuff just like the real life version and also also um something i'm really kind of proud of uh because i i know that like uh maybe you guys have seen this but there's a very famous new york city map 
that where somebody recreated the entirety of well they're recreating the entirety of new york city in minecraft and it's very similar to what i'm doing except they're doing it in survival and they've been added for, added for, for years and the builds are very very well done um, but something that I'm a capable of doing that they can't quite do because I'm using mods and shit is that I can get the roads to actually slump down the way they do in real life. You know what I mean? So, so if, if the road tends to go downwards, I'm able to show that off in this version as well. Uh, just like in real life, which is so nice. I, I'm really, really proud of the way, like you can still go into the buildings. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it feels like you're actually going like on an incline or like a decline, and yet you can still access all of the um the doors and shit. You know, I'm so proud of that aspect. I think that aspect, more than anything else, is what I'm like superbly proud of. You know, the fact that all of the roads actually like line up and shit. It's so nice. But yeah, so this is what I've got. This is the real life version, and then this is this version. Um, and then you've got this little thing over here. Again, this is all super, super work in progress. Um, I have, like, these little ornate bits to try to kind of replicate the, the real-life version. I'm, I'm honestly, this, this part was very difficult to do. I think from, like, afar, it actually looks really nice. It actually does look pretty, like, close to the real-life thing. Um, I, I'm, I'm still gonna do, like, some, some probably, like, edits here and there, but I, I think this actually looks really nice. Obviously, this window doesn't match this one, because, again, work in progress. I, do, I, I know I keep saying it, but I just have to stress it a lot, and I can't stress it enough, because I've put in so much work into this build, that it would suck if somebody that was like, oh, well, he got lazy in this segment. It's like, no, 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 I'm going 120% work ethic here. And then, look, literally, I cannot explain how proud I am, okay? These hoops took me, I think, a full day and a half to get done it, it, look look at how be oh, look at how good this is this is the real life version this is this version tell me it doesn't look good tell me this doesn't look exactly like the real life version look 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 door window window door window 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 and then seven hoops just like the real life version okay i am going so hard on the detail i am literally trying to even the fact that there's this little sliver here and then like the gaps in between every other window are much wider. Like, like I'm going so hard on the detail, okay? Um, I even have these little, like, little, uh, what's it called? I don't even know what these are called. Um, the, 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 the little, like, roofs or whatever for the doors, you know what I mean? I've got this one over here, and then we've got this much bigger, much grander one over here for these ones. Um, I, I did have a door here, but I actually had to tear down this entire segment of the building and rebuild it. Like, as, as I said, I think this took me, like, a full day or, like, a day and a half or some shit. Um, the issue wasn't even the hoops. The issue was getting the hoops and the spacing and making sure it all lined up with the windows and the doors and shit, because I didn't want the doors or the doors or anything to have too much of like a space in between them so for example this is still as you can see two blocks wide it's one block over here one block and then one oh actually well, i guess uh i i guess it's <laughs> it's three wide but um yeah they, they all have the exact same um uh words they all have the exact same like length in between them you know what i mean i, I had to work very hard to get that like that um uh, i'm really really proud this portion specifically i'm i feel like like, if I just take a screenshot of this right here, tell me this doesn't look like this right here. Tell me this doesn't look beautiful, dude. Straight up, this looks so scenic. I'm, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I, I usually, if, if y'all are um, old-time watchers of the channel, you know I very, very rarely tend to toot my own horn about anything i'm such a perfectionist that like anything i do is almost never enough for me but like with how much work i've put into this finally sharing it off it, it's making me very proud of myself i'm very glad that, that how, how this has come off and then i'm literally still just building this so this is like the yeah this this is the 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 worst it gets this is kind of why i'm i'm a little embarrassed to kind of show off my builds and shit until i have more um done and why i've been waiting so long because like look at how ugly this looks I, i'm not done yet obviously but it still just looks so bad um i just started building this like maybe an hour before uh starting this video which is why it's still so rough and shit um I, I guess you guys can use this video to see like the progress that's done you know what i mean when the next time that i make a progress update or whatever you guys can kind of come back and see how much this build has evolved uh i'm gonna leave the link by the way to the google map location for where most of these builds are taking place so you guys can kind of cross reference it yourself i do hope you all did enjoy this episode if you did hit the like button if you want to see more of this kind of 
of content, please do subscribe to the channel. It really would mean the world to me, and I have been spending a stupid amount of time. Just really quickly before you guys leave, again, this is what I was talking about. Sort of like the way the roads actually slump and shit. So, like, even in real life, um, this actually does, like, have a very steep decline to the point that the road actually, like, starts to dip and it forms this little weird block. So, this is what the real life version looks like. And this is what my version looks like. I mean, I, I tried to get that that um, that um decline to be exactly as sharp as it was in real life. And that was annoying. Okay, let me tell you. This shit took me hours to make. <laughs> All right. But I'm so I'm so proud of the way this is turning out, dude. I, I didn't think I had it in me, but it looks really, really nice. As I said, I do hope you all did enjoy it. And I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Peace out, guys.